a monk, and he learns, basically, he learns to meditate. It's a book about meditation. It's a, it was intended to be a parable about meditation, about contemplative prayer. And um, for some strange reason, the publisher decided it was a book for little children. Uh, so I, I, it's really not, but I, I'll read just a little bit of it that uh, gives an idea of the meditation part of it. Snook faced, he's alone on his island. Snook faced the changing sea light spreading before him. The wide, pale beach called up waves as far as he could see. My Snook. He sat on his haunches with his white front paws neatly in front of him, side by side. He sat with a straight little black on white back. He held his head up, his ears cocked. He waited. A frigate screamed. The casuarina shirred or whistled or roared. The surf lapped the coral strewn sand. Wind was like breathing. Snook watched the horizon at dawn, noon, at sunset. The incomprehensible vastness was a closed door to his friend. Brent was like waves. Snook waited as he had waited for the jubilation day rattle of his friend's car on the driveway to their hermitage. Every molecule listened for his friend. Wind, breath, breath, waves, 